Well, hey, EVTV, here's Anna Kloppenborg with that weekly EVTV Amsterdam update. This week we are back at the shop and we have a lot of new toys. Back from the Electric and Hybrid Marine Expo 2014, a very boat centric kind of week. Uh, but this week we're back at the shop and we have a lot of car related news. Uh, the happy coincidence is that once it rains, it pours. So we have both our adapted Siemens and adapter plate clutch setups back in the shop. And we have our warp mated to a marine reverse drive back at the shop. That means that we can power ahead, keep building, as we like to say, uh, with all our projects that we have going on. So to start with, the good automotive news is not only do we have the Siemens made it to WRX bolt pattern setup, the WRX transmission is standing there behind me, um, but we also have the Siemens made it to Jeep CJ5 Wrangler bolt pattern and clutch plate setup so that that can go into uh, the Jeep standing right behind us, our first customer commissioned conversion that we're going to be doing. Um, no sooner than we have these motors back that we can also share with you the great news that we have finished our uh, EMI compliance testing for the Siemens DMOX setup and for the Curtis 144 volt HPVS setup. So this means that the boat guys from Amsterdam who were forced to be under the radar not being allowed to play out with the cars with the big boys uh, because we do not have our certification and will not be able to get road legal. And uh, now we can. We can now offer uh, both the Siemens and HPVS setups uh, as installed by us and then to be road legal in Holland or basically anywhere in Europe. But with our set of documentation and our point by point described uh, um, adaptations, you know, some shielding, some boxes, some setup uh, configuration items, uh, we can actually sell a complete set with certification, have you install it, and then still be able to get uh, road legal with uh, Dutch or your local uh, um, DMV or we call RDV uh, unit. So it's definitely uh, um, a new step for the EVTV Amsterdam shop. Uh, not only do we have the great components and can we serve you, you know, anywhere in Europe with those, but we actually now have uh, European ready certification uh, as it comes for electric ma magnetic interference. Not just important for the cars because in fact we're starting to notice that our more uh, um, commercial orientated customers on the boat side actually see a lot of certification as well. And they need to know that uh, when they're a ferry or when they're a canal boat and they have people's lives on the line that you can actually uh, uh, supply certificates saying that the machinery and the uh, electronics are not either susceptible to interference from uh, outside and or uh, uh, cause interference with other uh, um, apparatuses as they come by. So let's take a little look at this setup, uh, the new bling. Uh, we finally have a, a Dutch partner to do uh, adapter plate and motor adaptations uh, with us. So far, uh, we've been able to offer uh, those few things, uh, quite a few things actually, set out by the EVTV network that Jack has had developed and now stock. So we're talking about Volkswagen uh, uh, bolt pattern adaptations for all the B-face and uh, keyed spline motors. Uh, we're talking about the uh, Siemens 2 B-face adapter that Jack had made and a few of those. But for all the other stuff, uh, I had to explain to European customers that our best shot at the moment was contacting an American party and seeing if they had something that could be made for whatever they're doing and then have it shipped all the way over here. Um, besides the, the, the cost and time involved in getting adapters made in a different continent, uh, we also have the issue that it's very hard to service something that was made so far away. Now, let me just turn this off. That's the compressor. So uh, now uh, we have a local partner, meaning that we can get something uh, made to spec here in Holland, but also can you know, control uh, that everything fits, is balanced, and works well and uh, if not, have service done here instead of you know, sending stuff there and back again, which is just really not gonna work. 
besides that, we're actually very uh, excited to be working with Speed On, uh, a uh, kit car company dedicated to uh, high performance motorsports for the last 10 years or so. Uh, has grown to uh, about eight or nine uh, guys working full time uh, um, and doing a lot of American muscle cars. I think I showed uh, their, yeah, I'm sure I showed the EVTV audience uh, some of the stuff they had there and I'll uh, pop in a little video of one of their latest gas guzzlers they put on the road just now. Soon to be electric. But definitely electric are these two Siemens motors, now mated to a 1969 Jeep bolt pattern and a Subaru WRX transmission bolt pattern. So that's Speed On in Emmelord. Uh, Misha runs the show. He found us at one of our uh, last boat shows, and we now found him as a um, pretty excellent fabricator of uh, custom-made adapter plate standards. So let's take a little walk around the table and see what we've got going on here. I'll grab uh, Mr. GoPro and uh, let's check it out. So the trick for us was, um, for all of you who can remember Eric Chris's talk on building an 818 last EVCON, uh, he was talking about how that transmission out over there um, is actually set up to have the um, most of the flywheel outside of that transmission bell housing, um, or at least sticking out for a little bit. That means that the depth of the adapter plate would start getting really large, which would mean that the length of a motor, especially if looking at an AC35 times two, would be prohibitive to actually get it into the frame uh, and fit. Well, uh, for several reasons, but including uh, the one of size, uh, we decided together with Speed On that the best fit for this and other setups could be made if the Siemens original spline, the involute spline sticking out, would be adapted to a more standard keyed spline, nice and wide, uh, uh, and opened up. Now what this does is it means that the pilot bearing in the WRX, but also in the uh, CJ5 and in many transmissions can actually go into the spline with a little bearing holding on in here. Uh, we see it here in the back for the uh, WRX. This one, of course, hangs on the uh, uh, spine shaft of the transmission. And then in the back, we have a bearing there. If you can see, uh, here you see the standard opening we have allows for different size bearings to hold different size uh, pilot uh, shafts. And then here you see this is where in the CJ5, the pilot shaft of the Borg Warner transmission that's in their standard will fit in. In doing that, so being able to put in the pilot bearing here, adapting directly to the flywheel here with what they call a puck, we keep the distance between transmission and motor to an absolute minimum, allowing for much smaller uh, adapter plates, in the case of the Jeep, even being able to laser cut it at much less cost and much quicker production rate. So even though uh, it does take some adaptation of the Siemens motor, it then leaves us with a much cleaner, smaller, compacter, and stronger uh, uh, combination for the clutch and flywheel setup. So we're very and through uh, this partnership, we'd be able to adapt to many other standards. So if you guys are out there with a project and you want to get road legal, with uh, Siemens power, we can not only serve you now uh, uh, the motor, controller, pumps, pre-charge relays, and all those things uh, uh, that are part of the setup, but we'll also be able to offer you um, the adapter plate clutch setup 
making it a more of a bolt-in event uh, once you receive all the goods and uh, start on your conversion. So pretty exciting stuff on this front. Um, we'll have to uh, show how they go into the uh, vehicles in the next couple of weeks. We'll have a lot of good building for us to go. And it won't just be cars because we do have a bit of boat news as well. Uh, I have that cabin cruiser, the Joni, that we've been uh, meaning to get finished in time for my <laughs> family vacation. We want to take that baby out and have some fun in the sun with the kids, uh, do a little camping. And uh, I've got another about week or two to finish that or uh, we're not going to be that happy at home. Well, luckily, we have our wharf set up back. And uh, um, our local shipyard that we work with, Droge op Water, uh, was able to mate it to a hearth keerkoppling, uh, a marine reverse drive. And uh, uh, we can do this with a slightly smaller marine reverse, so up to 50 horsepower rated, uh, for a little under 2,000 euros uh, as she sits. So we make a rear mount, we make the whole adaptation setup, and in here is a uh, a shaft adapter to uh, damper plate uh, setup. So you have the spring disc that is normally on top of a, uh, a flywheel is in there as a coupling up to the spine shaft of the Hearth Marine Reverse. So uh, um, let's see what this does. Get a little wild on you. Stick our camera over here. Maybe hold her a bit. So this is a uh, forward, neutral, and reverse with a uh, 2.75. So this is a 2.72, 2.74 reduction setup. So the uh, warp can turn at good RPMs, meaning that it's not too much amps, it's a little more volts. And at the same time, you're limiting the output towards the propeller to very normal boat kind of RPMs. Let me turn this off. So there you have it. She needs to be filled with fluid. It all needs to be installed. It will not sound nearly as loud or raspy. Um, but uh, we have a work cut out for us. 818. Jeep, Joni, we're definitely going to keep building. We hope to uh, add to our workload by uh, sending you all uh, certified drive system setups uh, in the next months or so. Uh, please uh, hit us up with an email, uh, sales at evtv-amsterdam.eu, if you have a project that you'd like to discuss with us. And uh, for us, we'll keep building. I hope you guys keep building. Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye. So hey guys, sorry if that was a bit of a rush segment this week. The uh, reason I had to haul ass is uh, we've got a lot of people coming. We're finally going to have a little party here at the shop uh, just to celebrate that we've been at it for a couple of years. We're uh, going to start making that next move up to uh, get a little more professional than just a couple of guys in a garage. Um, and for today we have a cooler full of drinks and food. We have our... Uh, vehicles displayed outside the 818 uh, some batteries that still need picking up today for our cargo cool customers and uh, the barbecue so we're gonna get American on their ass um, there's Ray getting stuff ready and uh, so this week we're not just gonna go keep building <laughs> we're gonna party like EV rock stars and I hope you guys do too have a great week and we'll see you next bye bye